Tonight, Nuthians remain on edge as police look for the shooter that killed prominent businessman Glenn Cofield. This most recent act of deadly random violence in our city has Local 24 political analyst Otis Sanford weighing in. Here's his point of view. Police officials and those whose job is to paint a positive view of Memphis like to say that our city's homicides are normally the result of disagreements between people who know each other. But as we have seen in recent months, that's not always the case. And it's the primary reason that describing Memphis as a dangerous place is sometimes justified. The latest example of this came Friday night when well-known business executive and community leader Glenn Cofield was shot to death during an attempted robbery. The shooting happened in, of all places, a church parking lot at Poplar and East Parkway. And it's the apparent randomness of the crime that has so many people, from Memphis to Cofield's hometown in Oxford, shaken and upset. Cofield and his wife were leaving a St. Jude charity event at a nearby home and were getting into their car when the gunman approached. Within seconds, Cofield was fatally shot. The incident naturally sparked heavy conversation on social media, including one Facebook post that correctly stated that it is wrong to call this a robbery attempt because the gunman did indeed commit robbery. He robbed a family of a husband and father and robbed our community of a generous and kind leader. Plus, this and other violent crimes rob us all of the belief that Memphis is becoming a safer city. And that is a tragedy as well. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.